Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. Since we are doing activity 10.4, question number 1, so in this video, I will be doing part E of the same activity. The question says that draw the logic circuit and complete the truth tables for the following logic or Boolean expression. Here a statement is given to you. First of all, you have to understand the statement and then you will make it in a simpler form. So how we can do that? Look at this. You have to find out the logic expression for output R. R equals to 1 if the expression starts from this condition. We need to convert it in a simple form. Remember that switch. If you are talking about a switch and a switch has two states. Either it is on, either it is off. So when the switch is on, you have to name you have to keep it like A only. But when the switch is off, you have to write it with a not, with an inverter. Why? Because when the switch is on, its value is 1. And when the switch is off, its value is 0. So the value of 0 means you have to use an inverter for that. Or you can simply write it not A. So let's quickly read what is given to us and then we will make the logic expression in a simple way. It's written switch A is on. Remember if it is on, just write down A only. Then you have end. So write down an end operator with this. Then switch B is on. B is on, write down B as it is. Also put these two brackets since your condition is in the bracket. So put the bracket as it is. Then there is an end outside the bracket. Write down as it is. Then there is another bracket which says switch B is on. B on means write down B as it is. Then there is OR. Write down OR operator. Then switch C is off. If switch C is off, write down C with not. So this is how you have to write down the logic expression. Now the first part says that you have to make the logic circuit. So let me quickly do the first thing that is a logic circuit for this expression. In order to make the logic circuit, first you have to solve the brackets. So how many brackets here you have? You have this one and this one. These are your inner brackets. Let me quickly do working for the first one, which is A and B. A and B, A and B means you are going to have two input values. One is A and other is B. And then they are going to pass through an AND gate. Let me make an AND gate so that my result will be A and B. B. This is my first bracket. The second bracket is B or not C. It means I can take the B from up from the I can connect another wire through the previous one so that I can get another input as B. Then I have C. A third input line. C is going through an inverter because look at your logic expression it says that b and not c are going through an or gate so we will make an or gate and the output of the or gate will be b or not c this is your second bracket, B or not C. The OR gate is getting two inputs. One is B that is coming directly and other is not C. So the input C will go pass through an inverter so that you will get not C. Now finally, both of these brackets are being connected through an AND gate so that you will get R. So both of these input lines will pass through an AND gate. Let me quickly make an AND gate here. And then the output of the AND gate is basically your logic expression or your final result. R equals to the first input was A AND B. 
and then it is an end gate so end with the other input was b or not c so this is done we are done with the first part that is the logic circuit now we have to fill the truth table for the given logic expression so let me quickly write down the logic expression again and we'll be sharing with you the truth table okay so here we go this is going to be part b of the same question you have to fill the truth table for the given logic expression now look at your logic expression it says that you have three input values so we will be making columns for a b and c your input lines next the only value that is being inverted is c so you will make another column not c to invert the values of input c then you have here the first bracket a and b here the second bracket b or not c and finally you will perform end operation between the two columns to get your final result let's quickly do that let me write the eight different combinations here for the three input values for input c it will be 0101010101 inverted values for b it is 00111011 then for a it will be four zeros and four ones this is done in the powers of two this will give you eight different combinations for your binary data now not c is very simple you have to invert the values of input c if it is zero make it one and if it is one make it zero one zero one zero one zero one zero it's done now let's quickly move towards the next column it's a and b it means you have to consider these two columns and and means that it will be multiplied so remember that 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 it's a binary multiplication 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1. We are done with the end operation between A and B. Now quickly moving towards the next column which says that B or not C. It means we will consider B, column B and we will consider column not C. And we have to OR them. OR means that it's a binary addition. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Now finally let's calculate for the last column. Let me quickly erase these unnecessary signs. So it will be clearer for you to see. Now the final thing is calculate this, the last column. For this you have this column and this one the inner brackets and you have to perform end operation between them so it is binary multiplication 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 1 oh 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so here we go. This is how you have to fill the truth table for the given example. So I hope that this example is clear to you. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And in the next video, we will be starting question number two. This one. It's a very important question. So stay tuned and watch the next video. Bye-bye.